Welcome to my channel. My name is Robin Shindelka and here I talk about everything related to mindfulness, spirituality and our way to recovery and a happy life. I am very grateful that you are here today and I hope you enjoy this video. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. If you are new here, my name is Robin Shindelka. And I'm a life coach who is specialized in helping people get out of mental struggles such as anxiety, depression and other things towards inner peace, happiness and basically self-love and the way they want to live their life, uh, which I do by basing myself on mindfulness methods, spirituality and the research on the subconscious brain. And so today I'm going to talk to you about a very important topic in mental health recovery, but in our physical health as well as in our maintenance of well-being and happiness uh, and that is meditation so I have done some meditations on this channel but they were very specifically um, focused on helping people recover from anxiety so they were specific uh, anxiety recovery meditations but today I want to talk to you about the general concept of meditation because I haven't done this which is crazy since I meditated every day for like the last two or three years and it's completely changed my life, it's completely changed me as a person. And so I want to dedicate this video specifically on going further into why meditation is so important if you want to heal from anything, whether it's mental, physical, relational, whatever it is. And so let me just start by explaining meditation the way I understand it and the way I feel it in my daily life. Meditation isn't just about sitting still in a like a Buddha posture and meditating by saying Om. No, meditation is actually distancing yourself from that thing which causes your most worries, your most problems. And that is your thoughts. Our thoughts are the creators of our problems in life because we, the world is the way it is. We can never change anything that's right here going on by trying to think about it or resist it with our thoughts. So meditation is all about realizing that your the world or your situation is not the problem you're in but your thoughts about that are the problem because our thoughts influence our emotions and our feelings and our feelings influence our body influence our programming and influence the outside world as well and so if we want to make a change we can't just try to think about what we don't want and try to resist everything we're experiencing that we don't like we need to distance ourselves from that. And that's something we can do by using meditation. When we go into meditation, the purpose of that is to observe everything that's going on both inside of you and outside of you. If we focus on our thoughts in meditation and we distance ourselves from them by listening to them and observing them rather than just completely immersing with them, then we create a distance and we realize that we are separate from our thoughts, that we are not our thoughts and that we also don't have to listen to them. Because with, from all the clients I've coached, everyone, every single one, every time the problem comes down to that we have certain beliefs inside ourselves that create thoughts, that we respond to those thoughts with certain emotions and that these emotions then reinforce that belief reinforce the pattern and we just kind of subconsciously are conditioned to be, keep being stuck into the cycle which is why we feel miserable so meditation is about saying stop saying i'm going to take a step back and just observe what is going on inside of me i'm just going to observe the thoughts i'm having the feelings i'm having the things that are happening outside of me as a result of those feelings and thoughts and i'm just going to Take a moment, sit still and observe. And what happens when we do that? What happens when we observe is we realize that we are the observer. And this sounds simple, <laughs> this sounds stupid, but there's so much power in that knowing because once we realize we're the observer, as I mentioned, we realize that we are not the things that we are feeling. We are not the things that we are thinking. And we realize that our thoughts don't have a hold a grip over us anymore because we're separate from them. And so something very simple you can do next time when you go into meditation or like the first time you want to go into meditation at all is to observe your thoughts or start by observing your body, 
This is what I always do. I observe my body in a whole, or I observe certain body parts, and then I ask myself, myself, who is observing right now? And if you close your eyes and you ask yourself that, who is observing my foot right now? And that leads you to a place right here in your chest, to your heart, because this is where your consciousness lies. And if you do the same with, I'll say, the outside world, you close your eyes and you say, what do I hear? What do I feel? You feel the wind, you hear cars, you say, okay, who is aware of this outside world? And again, it leads you to your heart. It leads you to this place, your consciousness. It rests right here. And then you can do the same with your feelings and with your thoughts. So if you're stuck in anxiety, for example, you can close your eyes and ask yourself, okay, let me just observe my anxiety. Let me not just identify myself with it and resist it because then you're completely immersed with it. But let me just observe it, like really feel what I'm feeling because most of the time we just run away from our feelings instead of just trying to feel them, actually focusing on what it feels like. So when you focus on what that feels like, you just observe it and then you realize, wait, if I can observe it, then I must, I must be separate from it and I might must have control over it. And then you ask, who is aware of this anxiety? Again, for your thoughts the same, who is aware of these thoughts? What are these thoughts even saying? How do they look like? Um, how, who is the person that is observing this? And this consciousness, which it then leads to, is where we keep all our energy, is where we keep our love. And when we are connected to that, when we are connected to that consciousness, which this meditation leads us to, we create an expansion in our hearts. We actually get in touch with who we really are. And this is the power that we can use to heal ourselves. And this power is so strong. And the more we tap into that, the more we identify with this part of ourselves rather than this part of ourselves, the more we connected we are to that energy and the more that energy can then heal ourselves. And this is where healing occurs both in the body as in the mind. And so I've used this particular meditation for, I think, over two years now. And I am anxiety free. I am depression free. I feel peaceful every day. I feel happy every day. Everything in my life goes well, like I can practice the law of attraction more better because I'm, I'm more in touch with that energy as well. Like the energy that you use to manifest with the law of attraction is the same energy that is held within here when you meditate. So the more connected you are to this, the more you start living from here outside in, uh, outside instead of from the outside world in or from your mind in, the more you bring about change in both your external world as in your internal world. They always say that the longest journey we will ever make is from our minds to our hearts and I couldn't agree more with that. So I hope you got this simple meditation uh, explanation. Um, if you practice this meditation more and more you'll see that you don't even need to ask yourself these questions anymore after a while because you'll initially know where to go when you ask yourself who am I? Like, who am I really? What's my consciousness? And you can go immediately to that instead of asking yourself the questions. But if you start meditating, ask yourself these questions first because they will immediately lead you to the person that you are right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're looking for anxiety recovery, uh, I am planning on doing a course in July, so you can enter for that in the description. Or you can also add, message me for one-on-one -on -one coaching through my web website as well. Please make sure to like this video if you got something out of it. Also follow me on Instagram. I make it my, uh, my, <laughs> my purpose to post daily tips and tools for your happiness and inner peace. So be sure to follow me on there. I'd love to get to know you. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys. Enjoy your day.